Drawing did most part of it, wow. uh, even up to my NYC. Yeah. And in my savage year, drawing is still doing it. Hi, um, could you tell us who you are, please? And I mean, your name. Okay, my name is Costine Eliana Ju Ajadu. Um, so, what is that? Is Yes, we are very much interested in your artwork. We can see you've got an amazing talent, I must say. Could you tell us how you started off drawing, please? Okay, um, first of all, my artist name is um, Ajad Dross. Um, I have got the name uh, from the day, I think I am a brand in your I can never forget his memories. We're in the room and then he was like, his own is going to be our artistic souls. And I was thinking of a name for myself. I started with Litsu, Ajadu, or something like that. Until like, I came up with the name Ajad Draws and then draws. That, that, the journey actually be began when I uh, went to Rai you know, uh, at, the, at the University of Badam and then I saw my brother drawing and then he was paid, paid an awesome uh, money then to, to do a drawing for I think an organization there, I think 25k and then I was wondering, I was like wow, what, drawing 25k and then I was like okay, last time you could draw and in your school you've been good, you know, oh. one of the best in fine art so I think pick it up, so then I started. Oh, he said over 20,000. That's a lot of money, I guess. Yeah, over 20,000. And that was um, like six, seven years ago. <laughs> so I was say the money motivated you then? No. Too. I felt like my talents can pay me like this. Right. Not the money, okay. not the money then. Yes. But can my talent get this money? That's where it comes from. Yeah, I get what you mean. Because like sometimes you tell African parents, oh, I want to be an artist, I want to be a footballer. Yeah. And they feel like uh, there's no money there. Yeah, you can't. It can't sustain your life. Exactly. Or they make it look like there's no. How can you make money with such things? Right. So when I saw it, that was like told I could draw. When I saw that, ah, this rain I used to do in my and my teacher would be like, guy, this guy is crazy. This guy, and then seeing someone making to, oh, no, no, no. And it like, takes you nothing. Like, like it, obviously, a bit of sacrifice, yeah, but like, but my passion, natural as well. Natural. So mm. it deserves it. So how many years have you been drawing now? I would sum it up to eight years. Eight years. Wow, 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 wow. So, so um, how long did it take you to produce this artwork you've got here? Um, for this uh, particular piece, the recent piece that I just finished, uh, it took me like um, uh, roughly um, three weeks. Three weeks. Wow. Three weeks. Because in between other weeks, I was actually not working, uh, not doing, not touching. I was actually doing um, some other things. So. Roughly, it, came, it comes at mood. What mood do you have? What targets? So that's what I do. So if my target is finished in three weeks, I must make sure that I try to finish up in three weeks. So it means I must occupy some days. There are days that I draw for 13 hours, no food, wow. for the whole day. I just be inside yeah. the room drawing. And it gives me joy. I don't even think about food. So I felt like, what joy could be more than that? No employment you give me in this life that will make me, that will compromise that, man. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. I get it. So, I mean, um, normally, like, professionals, they get their inspiration from maybe nature or, you know, all the artists they look up to. So, what would you say is your biggest inspiration and source of, you know, now, imagination? My biggest in inspiration, what inspires me is uh, the people. Right. My concepts, actually, you may not understand, people may not understand it. All my concepts. I relate it to what I see in society, what uh, I, I go through, what I, uh, what people go through, what I think the Nigerian culture, what, what the Nigerian people are going through. Um, for this piece, I was just talking about. Um, I'm really, I related this piece to the Old Testament, and I felt like it's still happening. It's titled "If Temptation." Now, if right, she created room for the temptation to happen. You know, if you don't expose yourself to stealing, like you want, making yourself feel like you want to steal, you will not want to steal. Yeah. So if allowed herself to be you know tempted and disobeyed god actually that's the real sense but then representation comes in the form of she ate an apple yeah. for me i believe i don't think it's apple really but then the best way for us to get a kind of message or to get the biblical message is to say okay it's an apple so yeah. definitely it's like saying sometimes we have to have a self-control right self-control in things we eat self-control in how deceptive we could be self-control in um with everything yeah. and Eve wasn't so even if she ate the fruit she wasn't just having that self-control enough right. so I'm not saying we don't fall above water and one fault could just punish your entire generation yeah true that's true. what happened to her like I mean true. what we're suffering today from the Christian angle it's because of her yeah. it's because of Adam and Eve so I don't think um, I think the idea makes more sense because it happens to everybody uh, I think everyone should I mean try to get a picture like this or a portrait like this I mean it reminds you of you know the falling 
falling, falling walls. Yeah, and, you know, good. Run I mean, away from the temptation. Would have been, would have been falling walls from the Old <laughs> yeah. Testament series, falling yeah. walls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> something like that. That's a, that's a very sweet title. I think the part three. Yeah. <laughs> the part three, because part three will be the final and the last. Would really um, capture something like that because the part three I'm trying to capture um, um, Adam and Eve together this time around. But the concept that I'm bringing has to be entirely different from every other artist that would have that such idea and that's my aim my aim is i want to have a style that is not the regular kind of pencil drawing that you see that is not like that. just different so going forward i do you see yourself becoming a professional well i'll say this is a professional level already uh, you see yourself like i've been i've been i've been i've, I've been seeing myself like uh, as a professional for, for like four years four years wow. i've done so many works i think if i should round up the works that i've done when it comes to pencil drawing both uh, for commissions and it's close to close to a thousand. Wow. Um, could the general public probably reach out to you? I mean, you've got some amazing drawings here, I must say. Yeah, the general public can actually reach out to me. I have Instagram page. My Instagram page, my Instagram page is um, Ajad Dross. Right. Um, and I have my link tree on my Instagram page. The link tree comprises of my WhatsApp number, Facebook page, Twitter page, any other platform, um, NFT markets. Any other person you can reach me, you can reach me on, my, um, on those pages. And on all those pages, I have my works on sale. I think, especially in the NFT markets. Um, when you click on it, you just see the option pops up. You know what's the link tree? I, yeah. I wouldn't have to, you just go and browse about and check. Right. So okay. you see every option pops up and you just reach out to me. And that's as easy as that. I, I think. Mean, Probably after this video, I should uh, contract you for one of my drawings. <laughs> I mean, it's because uh, of the skill. I feel like it's, you know, way above professional level. I mean, yeah, Instagram, Ajadu Draws, yes, right? Ajadu draws. And Twitter, Ajadu Draws. Ajadu Draws. Ajadu draws. Facebook, Ajadu God's Time, in bracket, Ajadu Draws. Ajadu Draws. Yeah, thank you very much for having this interview with us. Thank you so and much. And we would like to have a, a look at some of your other works you've done previously. Oh, okay. Um, this one, like you said, this one is of uh, extension on the. Just talking about uh, with uh, the fact that we've had to we've had to share the same uh, body and thing uh, like we did, uh, like our parents have, and then but we couldn't help them because we're helpless. We don't have money. And all that. I know this person. Collateral damage, yeah. That's yeah. my serious president, yes. isn't it? Yes. This one is collateral damage. I'm talking about, um, you know, bad governance, you know, using um, people for their own gain. Turning us, if you look at. Assuming we have time, I would really explain deeply, but there's no point in that. I think we, it looks amazing, and I think it's a, uh, it's good you've got a story behind your drawings, which is amazing. Uh, I think that should be it at the moment. <laughs>